our problem with sharks. Not a baby shark, but really old sharks. In fact, the oldest known koi fish lived to be 226 years old, and the oldest known Greenland shark lived for 272 years. So how much longer did the shark live? Not the baby shark, but the grandpa shark. So how are we going to solve this problem? Again, it's another comparison problem. So we're comparing the age of the Greenland shark to the age of the koi fish. And we want to know how much longer the Greenland shark lived than the koi fish. So our equation would be 272 minus 226 equals something. So with my base 10 model, I'm going to draw 200s, 7 tens, and 2 ones. Remember, I'm just drawing out the number that we are subtracting from, and then we can subtract our other number, 226. Um, so that's what I'll be drawing for my base 10 model. For expanded form, I'm going to write out 200 plus 70 plus 2, the number that I'm subtracting from, and then I will be subtracting or taking away 226. Okay. And in standard form, Writing it out, 272 minus 226. Okay, so there are three ways that we are going to show it. With our base 10 model, we, um, we're going to start off with subtracting our number 226. So we look in the ones place, and I'm gonna, going to be subtracting 6. I look over here and I see, oh, I need to subtract 6 ones, but I only see 2 ones. So what am I going to do? I don't know, but I do know that 110 is the same thing as 10 ones. So I'm going to take 110 and I'm going to regroup it and put it over here. And instead of that being the value of 110, I'm now going to make it be 10 ones. There they are. So it's no longer a 10 right there. And now we can go ahead, we have enough, and we can subtract six ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving me with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can subtract my tens. I subtract two tens. So there's one, two, and how much, how, how many are left? There are four tens left. And subtract my hundreds, I subtract one, two hundreds, which means there are no hundreds left. Now if I show the same thing with expanded form, I look and see, oh, I'm doing 2 minus 6, and there's not enough. I can't do 2 minus 6. Um, so I need to uh, regroup. Again, I'm, I'm take, looking over in the tens place, and I'm going to take a 10 away. So no, it will no longer be 70, but it's going to be 60. And that 10 is going to be regrouped into the ones place. So rather than 2 ones, we're going to have 12 ones. Um, so now the number, our number that we're taking away from is 200 plus 60 plus 12, which still equals 272. Now we can go through the process and do 12 minus 6, and that equals 6. 60 minus 20 is 40. And then 200 minus 200 is 0. So we don't need to write anything there. So um, 40 plus 6 equals 46. And if we do the same thing over here, we can see, oh, 2 minus 6. I can't do 2 minus 6 because there's not enough to be subtracting from. So I look over to my next place value, and that's the tens. And so I'm going to take something from the tens. Instead of 6 tens, I'm now going to, or sorry, instead of 7 tens, I'm now going to have 6 tens. And those 6 tens are going to be uh, regrouped over to the ones place. So instead of 2 ones, I now have 12 ones. So 12 minus 6 is 6, 60 minus 20 is 40, 200 minus 200 is nothing, so 46. So 272 minus 226 is 46. I'm putting it back into the context of our problem. The question was how much longer did the shark live? And we could say that the shark lived 46 years longer than the koi fish.